Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabwalk bringing you the best in esports. Today we have StarCraft Brood War, the Shinhan Winners League. This is going to be set 6 of We Made Fox vs KT Rolster Flash vs Midas Flash. Able to bring KT back within reach of a win. They were down 0-3 and then they put in Flash and he won two games in a row and now he's playing Midas. On La Mancha, the substitute for Grand Line SC. Don't exactly know why they got rid of Grand Line SE, I'm assuming possibly for balance issues or it might have just been you know what they want a new map there's nothing wrong with new maps this is actually the second time I've recorded this part of this game because there's a weird pop-up that came up and I was like oh gosh and it ruined the entire commentary but um, speaking of new things the SC2 ladder the Battle.net ladder is going to get some new maps, hopefully. Uh, they're in the works right now, I believe, and that's awesome. We really, really need new maps. I'm assuming that they're going to be bigger also because really all the SC2 ladder maps are kind of small. They're relatively small, besides maps like Jungle Basin's a little bit bigger, Scrap Station's a little bit bigger. Um, but other than that, all of those maps are just really really small like steps of war zelnaga caverns is relatively small but we're not talking about starcraft 2 today we are talking about the pro league spawning at the top right is going to be midas as the terran player and spawning at the top left in red is going to be flash spawning as the red terran yet again just like last set Hopefully, he can pull it out. I actually like seeing Flash play, as much as you guys know that I rag on him, but I like seeing him win, I like seeing his TVT. Although, you guys know how much I actually love Terran versus Terran play, just so, so much. Hopefully, we don't see, like, an hour-long game or even a 45-minute game. Those games are a little bit too long for me. It's good, like, 20 minutes. That's around the good time of the game. And uh, depending or not if there is another set after this, probably, we'll, we'll, depending on what uploads come up tomorrow, will not be um, will not be commentating that game. Might commentate it tomorrow. Not gonna do a commentary on it today. This is gonna be my last one of the day. Looks like we saw a one rax into CC for Midas, so kind of stealing that build. Uh, no, it actually is a 14cc. Just kidding. 14cc from Midas. Uh, thought he put down the barracks. Wasn't really paying attention early. Sorry about that, guys. And we have a 14cc, uh, it looks like, for Flash as well. So mere builds going up, but Flash actually getting his barracks a little bit sooner than Midas did. Midas is opting to go for his refinery. I'm assuming that the refinery is going to be going down very, very soon for Flash as well. And there it is, going up just as I predicted. Oh my gosh, I'm just so ghost to. I just know the future. He's going to get a refinery, a refinery eventually. Who knew? Who knew he'd get a refinery? I don't know. Um, Flash wanting to put up some defense, building a bunker at the front. Very, very smart move there. His command center, uh, probably almost done. It looks like we have some SCVs transferring just in the nick of time for Midas. I believe their command centers are going to go down at the same time. It's just that the barracks for Flash is going to be done relatively sooner than Midas' barracks. Don't know exactly why that is. Maybe Midas got a few more SCVs before he built that uh, barracks there. But he's not going to have a barracks at his front. Quick factory going up for both players. Super standard TVT play. Pretty much in all TVTs we see just straight straight mech and then if it goes into the later game we see battle cruisers which I don't want to see if we bring out the battle cruisers in this game that means it's gonna go to at least probably 30 minutes which is a long time and I'm sorry if I hate on TVT and you guys love it but that's just my honest opinion but I'll try to keep optimistic I mean I like watching flash play so it's all good it's all good flash going for another factory we do see the bunker going down for Midas. He might be even building another one. Not entirely sure what that was. Um, so just very, very emphasis, or very, very big emphasis on mech play from both players. Now mining gas from their ref respective refineries. And yeah, so both players going for double factories. Marines just scouting around, seeing if there's any type of proxy in that area. SUV scout coming out for uh, Midas and I believe that they haven't scouted each other so they pretty much did both of these openings very very blindly 
Um, I mean, against a Terran player, a 1 Rax and a CC, or a 14 CC build, which is what they did, not 1 Rax and a CC. So 14 CC builds, not the safest against, uh, well, any race, really not that safe against Zerg. But in all honesty, I think versus Terran, and especially for Midas, very, very safe builds. A little bit more risky for Flash, I believe, because a lot of players have been trying to put on some early pressure against him. It looks like there's no Marines in that bunker, because that SEV didn't take any damage. But um, a little bit more risky for Flash than for Midas, but relatively safer in this matchup than in other matchups. First tank now out for Midas. We see that uh, both of those... Uh, factories are producing units, however, the machine shops are not spinning, so that's kind of peculiar right there. Barracks seeing each other, doing a little scouting of the other barracks, saying, Hey, I've seen you somewhere. You look kind of like someone I know. That was really stupid. Sorry about that. Uh, Academy down for Flash now. And so he's probably going to go for a comm set for um, things like to kill off mines and such. Barracks taking some damage. Midas getting his comm set as well. Three tanks at the front for Flash. And Flash is getting his comm set. So just serious, like, even builds. Like, mirror matchup, mirror builds. Usually we see at least some deviation by this point. But both players just continuously going for the same play. We do see an armory for Flash. As well as two more bear, er, two more factories going down, two more factories, and the armory is done for uh, for Midas as well. So both players getting some Goliaths in the mix. We'll have to see if Flash puts out some Goliaths as well, and he has. So I believe that they're going to have exactly the same composition, but no. It looks like Midas is down one tank. Don't know what he got instead of that tank, but he is down one tank nevertheless. Both machine shops of his spinning, both spinning for Flash as well. And that's really peculiar that he has one less tank. Um, I know that he got his... Possibly, it could possibly be due to the fact that he got his barracks a little bit later, and that tank is just lagging behind a little bit. That could possibly be it, and so maybe just not using his build order to its very, very economic... Um, max or not using it to its potential of what it could be barracks taking a little bit of damage but really all the barracks is used for is spotting here comes flash's army with a few vultures i'm going to say that he probably got mines possibly got vulture speed could have gotten charm boosters or, or siege mode the big engagement in the middle here just all of the units attacking on all the units uh vultures going down goliaths in the mix tanks doing a ton of damage only one tank for midas uh-oh, Midas in a little bit of trouble here, as he only has one tanks, does have more Vultures and Goliaths, but tanks uh, versus Vultures and Goliaths, you, tanks usually win, just FYI. And Midas' force getting absolutely stomped on, has four Vultures, gonna slow down Flash's push for a little bit. Needs to be careful about that mine! I don't know if he ran into that mine or not. Uh, that could have been really, really bad if he did run into that mine. But Flash just doing a nice job of pushing in here. Only about four vultures still for Midas. Midas is pumping out more vultures. It looks like maybe a command center is going down at that 9 o'clock position. It looks like an expansion. So Flash doing a very, very nice job of attacking and expanding. Here comes Midas trying to break in. No uh, units in that bunker there for either player. And both players just kind of busting in each other's front doors. Let's see if Flash is going to be able to defend this. I think that he is. Midas, on the other hand, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be able to put on a good defense. SCV is being pulled off the line for both players. Flash is trying to hold off his ramp, and Midas just trying to kill off any units he can, because he really can't do a whole lot. Surprised that uh, Flash is not pumping out tanks. I'm surprised he's pumping out more vultures uh, to combat those vultures, because he is at a disadvantage in terms of vultures that that tank would do just a ton of damage. So I'm really surprised that he doesn't go for something like that. Here comes Siege Mode for both players. Sieging up. Comsat going down. And uh, the Siege Tank for Midas, I think, is kind of screwed. Because 3-1 to one is not good odds. He does have a Siege Tank on that high ground. Here come some SCVs, possibly to uh, kind of attack those tanks and do a little bit of damage that way. The There are mines, and he's going to be able to mine drag. Oh my gosh. Mine drags all three of those tanks along with the SEV and now Flash gonna have to play a little bit defensively at this point in the game although he does have his third base which is gonna allow him to macro up a ton in the near future has a star core out as well and is gonna get a wraith uh, to do some harassment po probably more scouting purposes 
because he doesn't have a control tower on it. Really needs that control tower if he's going to do any type of big wraith push, which we have seen. We have seen mass wraiths in TVT, and uh, they have been used very, very, very well. Um, but he, yeah, he's going to need that control tower. He's going to need cloak if he really wants to make them effective. I mean, Goliath with charm boosters, just so deadly versus air units. Really, really good against air, and surprisingly... Um, in StarCraft 2, Terran have kind of a hard time, uh, or at least earlier on in the, the game's life, had a hard time dealing with air and things like Void Rays until they got nerfed because they really just didn't have a ton of AA. They had Marines, but that was pretty much it. Vikings aren't really the best. Vikings are pretty bad, actually. They don't really deal with Mute as well, and they're just bad all around. Here comes another engagement, just a pure Vultures. It looks like Flash is at a little bit of an advantage here. Gets two of his picked off though, so barely going to be able to chase off Midas. Going to be able to pick off one more Vulture, and so only three Vultures very, very intelligently backing up before uh, the tanks were able to catch up with the main Vulture Force. Good little spread there by Flash as well, and just macroing up, getting more factories, and playing absolutely solid. Now we see that control tower going on that starport. We saw a science facility as well, so it looks like he's thinking possibly about switching to battle cruisers. That science facility obviously used for plus two and plus three weapon and armor respectively, because you need that uh, along with your armory to get those upgrades. Now we see that base at the 9 o'clock just fully up and running. Here comes Midas, though. He's going to be able to chase away the vultures of Flash. Flash is going to have to run these SUVs, unfortunately, away and um, just do... Not, I mean, he's going to have to pull them, but really, it's not really that big of a deal because the base at the 3 o'clock isn't being utilized at all by Midas. I don't even think it's fully uh, operational. I don't think that command center is done yet. And here comes Flash with two more tanks, going to be able to clean up these vultures, I believe. But actually able uh, to skirmish a little bit longer is Midas. Midas is doing a very nice job of just being really annoying at that 9 o'clock base. And now, moving out, probably... Uh, to put up a little bit of siege line and take out that base po in all possibilities. That 3 o'clock base looks like it's being functional now. Um, does not have a refinery on it just yet. There is a refinery, I believe, on that 9 o'clock base. So still, Flash just a little bit ahead in terms of economy. He needs to be careful not to lose his units to things like mines. That's just really bad when you lose like 3 or 4 siege tanks just because you know, you're going over mines or something like that. That's not what you want to do. Another base going down for Flash at that 7 o'clock position, so pretty soon he's just going to be so much of an economic lead. Here comes a drop as well. Might be dropping something like Vultures, I'm assuming, um, which would be very, very economic sound. I mean, Vultures are only 75 minerals a pop, so you can do a ton of damage. Vultures being used for spotting on those siege tanks, able to dwindle down Midas' siege tank line, but I think that he's going to be able to hold. Maybe not, actually. He's bringing in more siege tanks, and uh, Midas is kind of being lackluster in his unit production, doesn't really have a whole lot, only has a few Goliaths in siege tanks, and so that siege line looks like it's going to be taken care of by Flash. Flash retreating his dropship, now going to attack the natural expansion, doing a really nice job of just being absolutely annoying, uh, but at the same time, nice defense by Midas, nice job that he didn't siege up that siege tank, but because that splash would have done just so much damage, absolutely so much damage, this base at the 7 o'clock is almost done, and hopefully he transfers some probes in the near future. Just mines pretty much scattered throughout Midas's half of the base. Not a whole lot on the middle of the map. There's kind of some by Flash's base, kind of some by Midas's base, but not a whole lot right in the middle. We might see an engagement coming up here. More forces streaming in for Flash. He does have a science vessel out, which is going to save his commsats for things like spotting rather than using them uh, precautionally for mines doesn't really want to do that because then he's going to have no um he's going to have no comp sets for spotting and now picking up that six o'clock base as well flash is getting out of control and i don't think that there, this there's a point where midas can come back from this unless he does some type of crazy harass at um, many of these bases and is able to hold his front at the same time because Flash is just going to be able to macro up so many units. Here comes a small engagement. Vulture's dying to Goliath and uh, these tanks are going to get cleaned up fairly easily by this bigger force of Flash. Midas now in jeopardy of losing his natural. It looks like Flash is going to just be content on seizing on the high ground. Going to be able to take out that Vulture without much of a uh, hard time there. 
we do see the starport as well as the science facility now for Midas, but Flash has had that for a lot longer. And uh, now Midas is just starting to get air units and starting to build his air army because eventually in the late game you want to tech to things like battle cruisers. Well, I guess that's the only thing you tech to besides battle cruisers. I guess the only thing after that would be like mass nukes or something, which no one really does. Uh, they used to use nukes earlier on in the game when people would do more one base strategies and maybe two base strategies. But now I we really haven't seen a nuke in almost forever, and it'll be kind of cool to see one. Sieging up uh, at the siege line is Midas, really kind of trying to push in here just a little bit, not really going to be able to do so, especially because Flash has the high ground, and just not able to do a whole lot, he's pretty much pinned in to this top right corner unfortunately, the only place he could possibly expand is maybe in the bottom right, but at the same time Flash has the mobility of his dropships, and so this is looking more and more hopeless as Flash gets more and more, more bases, he should really just be called the, uh, something like, or along the lines of the, like, mass macro, macro. Terran. I'm sure there's already uh, someone like that. But here comes Flash just absolutely destroying that siege line, landing his own siege tanks on it. He can afford to do so. And that whole army just absolutely destroyed by Flash. Midas GG's has no chance of beating the Terminator Terran, the ultimate weapon. And that's going to be pretty much it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these casts. I've been trying to do two a day for, I guess, the last two days just because I hadn't uploaded any recent ones recently probably gonna go back to one a day starting tomorrow but hope you guys enjoyed the two day for the short while it lasted that's gonna be it for me